Hello and welcome back to Let's Do More Good, where we try to have a positive impact on the world around us. So uh, today we got a simple cook going on. This is a, uh, a pork butt from a, a pig that we had processed and um, we're going to be out working on a project all day and so uh, a day like that when you're going to kind of be away from the smoker it's a perfect day to throw on something like a no wrap pork butt and that's what we're going to do today. We can throw it on, set the temp, forget about it for eight hours, come back and then uh, make any adjustments that we need from there. So we're gonna be using, this is Killen's Barbecue Rub. This is a, a, a restaurant out in Texas, incredible barbecue. We were out there recently and, and uh, I had some of their uh, brisket and actually had their beef short ribs. It was one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life, no joke. And so um, I knew I was gonna be doing a bunch of pork butts and so I just wanted to try their rub, so I picked up their rub. So we're gonna try that today. And, um, you know, when you're seasoning a pork butt, you're just pretty, pretty liberally seasoning it. And I've already trimmed this up a little bit. And it is mostly dry. And we're going to put a good bit of seasoning. This is a big piece of meat. And we want that bark. It smells like it has a little chipotle spice to it. Gonna be really generous here. Okay, make sure we've covered it all good. We're gonna let this sit here and sweat out. You can do this the night before, you can do this an hour before, or if you're pressed for time, you can shorten that a little bit, but we'll let that sweat out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get the smoker ready and we'll throw it on here in just a minute. We season this up with Killen's rub and we are going to open up the smoker here and i'm going to set this right here on the top shelf top rack boom see you in eight hours It's been about eight hours and uh, we got this uh, Boston butt we're about to pull off. Um, I had after about six hours, five hours rather, uh, I had my wife turn it up to 300 because you know we had people coming and was really worried about this thing cooking all the way. So um, we turn it up. Let's see what the temp is. I'm anticipating it's time to pull it off. We're gonna actually pull it off either way. Kind of get down on that right there is 195. That's perfect. 200. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. Woo, that looks beautiful. Perfect. Check it out. Look at that bark, crust, look at that. Looks delicious. We're gonna let it rest for just a second and then uh, we're gonna start pulling it apart. Okay, so we uh, let, let the uh, pork butt rest for a minute and uh, we got, like I said, we got folks over and they're starving, so they're diving in, but I haven't tried this yet and I'm just gonna try just a little, little piece of this. This thing shredded up nicely. I'm gonna try a little piece without any sauce. That is very good. That rub has a, just a little bit of sweet in it, but obviously not too much because it didn't burn or anything like that. And the pork is perfectly tender and juicy. Wow, I don't even need sauce. Just a little piece of the bark. Oh man. So good. You can really taste the rub on that one. Wow, that is delicious. Man, that's delicious. I'm, I'm gonna go grab me a bun and see how much barbecue I can fit on top of it. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time on Let's Do More Good.